what's up guys and thank you for joining for another pocket super friday and today we're going against raymond other known as flaming axel he is a russian pocket tuber very very good battler uh, and also a genuine good person uh, i like his stuff a lot i've known who he was since the kangas gang time so that is like roughly half a year ago and recently got in contact contact with him and uh, yeah we chatted and you know we talked about uh, having an new game way back here and uh, actually decided since i did mix that we can step up um, his game a little raymond is a very good higher tier player and um i really was looking forward to try to um well challenge him in a tier that i am not that comfortable in and uh, i must say it was actually a very very good battle because of it um he actually said that max two or you and the rest we can decide on our own so i decided to bring two or you for sure um, but other than that, I actually tried to be interested in NU, so just because of it, really. Uh, he is bringing Tornadoes, Roserade, Rhyperior, Arcanine, Astral, and Clefki. I myself is using that lesser tier evolution of uh, Hydreigon, Swine something, uh, Minerva, um, then we got the Hippodon, and a specially offensive um, Mandibus, uh, a Gigalith, and Stoutland, which is from my mixed tier team since the uh, beginning of this week. Other than that, uh, I was fearing that his team is too strong for my, just by the team preview, they're a lot stronger than my pokes really. And SMRL can really dent my team with both player off and, um, well awkward yet really. Consider that I think I only got two pokes that have neutral damage from Asriel, but that's about it. The rest are actually, have actually weakness from it. So I feared I won a lot and I feared Klefki too. I know it doesn't use foul play swagger, but you know I got those Vietnam flashbacks since then, way back when the Medigan was going. Uh, I know it doesn't use it, like I said, but man, you never forget that kind of And uh, in the beginning here, I was really sure it's gonna break my Hippodone coming in, so I just went with anything that wasn't Hippodone, and uh, by that, you know, kind of screw myself over, because he will have the Klefki out, and I do fear the play rough, I'm just gonna go over super power, kind of baiting him not to set up a light screen too. Um, and yeah, he also got a theme to his uh, folks. Everything is named after Organization 13 uh, <laughs> members from uh, Kingdom Hearts, so props on that. Definitely the Roxas thing, I love that. And I think Marluxia is uh, the Rose Raid. If you guys know, Marluxia is the one that uses like roses and stuff like that. Very, very like um, split gender to say the least <laughs> in battle. Uh, other than that, I'm gonna switch out Tornadus. He will actually go for a bulk up here. Uh, I know I can take anything from this guy rather well in any sand stream. I am actually pretty much able to take him out with a rock slide. But I do miss that hit. And um, it really, really sucks for me. But I you know it's a part of the game. So he's gonna bring the. Um, um, what's it called? Right period here. And uh, I'm just gonna stay in. I don't think this guy can hit too hard. So I go for another quake here. And judging by that damage, that is fully defensive, and uh, I don't want to have him retaliate with uh, an earthquake against me. So he's actually going to go for that earthquake now, and uh, I take it fairly well. Um, I'm just going to set up my stealth rocks here, knowing that I'm faster than a right barrier, and he's going for an ice punch, and it doesn't do too much really. So I'm definitely in a position here where I can go for a slack off. I should have maybe gone for... And that's quick I try to finish it off, but I still I need this guy to be around if I'm gonna be able to sweep. My Stoutland is pretty much the only thing that can Oko pretty much half his team here, only got problem with against the uh, Aqua Jet uh, Asimril. So I'm just gonna bring Swine here. He did the right prediction here and just went for neutral damage on anything on my pokes. And it works in his favor because that puts my poor, poor Swine in a very bad position, and I'm just gonna switch him out knowing that he's not gonna stay in. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna set up the sand stream here, and uh, I think I went for um, could have gone for iron, no, I went for earthquake. So that did fair after reflector. I'm actually gonna go for roar here because I was so sure it's gonna switch out and never thought that he might actually go for spikes. So it actually was ready to sack that guy off. So at this point, you know, I was so scared of this Asimaril uh, that he could go for a waterfall. I'm not entirely sure I can take it that with huge powers. So I'm just gonna sack off my swine here. And uh, belly drum. I was like, whoa, no. Fuck, no. So, yeah. At this point, I am somewhat screwed here because if I've gone for an earthquake, I would actually have hindered him from going for a belly drum. So that really, really sucks for me. Um, 
because now Awkward Jelly can take on anything really. So I'm just gonna bring on my Stoutland here, knowing I could take an Awkward Jet and then retaliate, you know, doing the best of it really. And shit. So yeah, now I'm really stressed out here because I can't take this guy out. So I'm just gonna go to Omandi, fearing the player up. I didn't go for it, luckily for me. It activates my weak armor, and I'm just gonna go for an air slash here, trying to take it out, and ugh, slaughter avoided, I guess. But man, I, I paid a high price for that roar. Ooh, that was really, really scary. So at this point, I'm just going to switch out here. I know he's gonna go for extreme speed. Uh, I don't have any further use really for um, Mandibus, but it could be a good fodder later on here. And extreme speed, of course, doesn't do anything to me. So I felt really confident here, even without the sandstorm. And I do a double switch here, knowing that it's not gonna, it doesn't want to stay in against the Gilith. I'm just gonna bring in my Crumbie yet again, my Hippodorn, to get up that sandstorm really. And this time, I'm going to finish this guy off. <laughs> no more screwing around from my side here. So the reflect we're off, and he actually don't go for another reflect to set up another layer of spikes while I finish this guy off here. So now I know I can go at least all physical on him, but uh, yeah, that critical hit would have mattered much earlier, damn it. So anyway, here comes Maraluxia here, and I don't really want to take a Leaf Storm, and um, he actually goes for a Magical Leaf if I remember correctly, so I should have definitely stayed in there, I could definitely have taken that. But of course, Magical Leaf together with Technician is boosted, so it is a very, very fair move to use, to say the least. So I'm just gonna go to Minerva here and set up a Calm Mind. I'm hoping I'd want to try to stay in because I know I'm faster. Uh, he actually didn't want to even try that. So just gonna go right away for Rhyperior. And uh, well, it's time for me to set up. And this is gonna be beautiful, hopefully. Uh, so I'm just gonna go for a Barrier here and um, let's just say Rhyperior is so strong. I mean, look at this Earthquake that comes here. It does well, well over half here, and plus I got buffed by Sandstorm, of course. So I'm just gonna set up another barrier here, because I, even though it goes for another Earthquake, I know that I can, well, live it after that. He actually decided to go for an Ice Punch, so very, very lucky for me, probably predicting me to switch out here. Uh, I saw no reason to try to switch out, I know I am in a bad position. So I go for that Stored Power, and I sadly fell short and hits with the Mega Horn and Minerva is out of the way. So yeah, I should definitely reevaluate my set here with Minerva uh, because that did not work at all for me and uh, well, Ice Punch will not do enough here and I'll actually go for Roar, should probably go for Slack Off and the Marluxia is back on track and there is really nothing I can do here but I have both Gigalith and Jim. Um, what is it? Hip Gilith and Hippodon, and none of them can, uh, you know, deal with this Marluxia with her sharp petal roses that are magical and supposedly are called leaves. So, this will basically be GG, so uh, thank you Flaming Axel for this battle. I did my very best here, and um, really, those roars kind of screwed me over, and I really felt that I should have preserved a few posts much better than I did. But I'm glad you didn't go for player up against uh, my mana bus to end the game early. So yeah, thank you for this battle and uh, GG. So yeah guys, you know, thank you as always for watching, and if you like this battle, don't forget to leave a like, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe.